Where am I, you may ask? Where indeed? I thought I would go and check out the boatyard, which is where we're planning to go and haul out uh, at some point in the next, uh, I don't know, couple of months or so, not sure. It is two miles from our anchorage. That's our anchorage. That's Kudat. This is a dinghy. This is me. And I thought I'd go round the outside into the open water, uh, which is no big deal, except we have been getting a few squalls lately. Uh, the weather can pick up and it, um, yeah, it, well, it mainly comes from over there. So basically, as long as I get back into this bay before the weather turns to shit, I should be okay. Roy of Chaska is having a barbecue this afternoon. So uh, I thought I'd grab a couple of beers and uh, go and do a recce of the yard. It's a Sunday, most things will be closed, but uh, something to do in it. By the way, the visibility here is amazing. It's the clearest I've seen it, and we can see all the way down Kudat Bay. Uh, Bit of a heavy cloud here though. Oh no. Looks good enough, doesn't it? That cover is embarrassing though. Stitching came away. This is the boatyard of Kudat. Uh, I can't remember the name. You know I'm bloody terrible with names. I can never remember any name at all. I can't remember the name of that bird that I sail with sometimes. Lynn, Liz, Liz, that's it. I managed to get here just before the rain kicked in, that big cloud I was looking at earlier. Uh, looks like it's coming over, it's coming over from the northeast, which is not ideal. Didn't plan on that happening, but uh, anyway, quick glimpse of the yard, here we are. Song lines three. And that's Deja Vu, that's Glyn from Sutra, she's here. Chaska. Lindsay off to close his hatches because he left them open. And uh, looks like they're doing their barbie here with all of the many yard dogs that uh, Glyn has fostered. Yep. Lily's got some fresh Spanish mackerel. The one put these sausages on first, so we'll be good. Have you actually little... done any work in the yard since you've been here? Yeah, just swept it this morning. <laughs> And there's one other person you've got to meet. This one, oh, that's Chloe. You've seen Chloe before. That's Green Stock. But look at this little monster. So we've had a lovely barbecue. Thank you to the guys in the boatyard. And I was just saying that when I came around the dinghy, first thing I noticed was the typical smell that you get of a boatyard, which is a kind of mixture of anti-foul and barnacles and the general smell of people working hard on their boats and I come here and I'm really disappointed to find that they're just sitting around having beer. Sharon jumped in and said, oh, uh, hold on a minute, hold on, we've been working hard, haven't you Sharon, what have you been doing? Polishing! So today we pulled the handles off and the ladder and have a look. Look at this, sparkle luckling. Oh wow, that is shiny isn't it? Yeah. You missed huh? a bit. No, 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 no I didn't miss it, <laughs> he did. <laughs> what else have you done on the boat then? Um, so, so, just to recap, by the way, Songlines 3 had an issue with the shaft, mm -hmm. which you've now pulled and replaced. Yes, it's a brand new shaft. Can you show me? Yeah, can do. So, this is the new shaft that's actually been placed in. We're still waiting on a coupling to be made uh, to join the shaft to the engine, and then we have to align the engine. Um, hopefully tomorrow. We'll get that and get it together and they'll do a little bit of an alignment up on the hard stand. And then Monday afternoon we get the anti pal done. And hopefully we go back in the water Thursday morning and they will adjust again the engine before we go out of the slings. One of the reasons why I came today, apart from to drink your beer and eat your fish, which was very nice, thank you very much. Good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I came to check out the boat because we had to haul out here in, I don't know, a month, two months time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, what, what do you think of the boatyard here? Love it. Yeah, it's good. Uh, great facilities. You have your own, whilst on the concrete, you get a shower and a toilet. If you're actually over 
on the side where there's grass and dirt you get the communal shower and toilet which i suppose it's okay but this one's better because well, it's just the fact you've got a shower and a toilet in a boat yard is something isn't it yeah absolutely it's a bonus yeah a real bonus um and also the guys the guys here are pretty good too yeah has um, it got, it's got a good uh, uh workshop here yeah 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 they've got everything like the boys put this on the lathe the other day and i can't show you because it's actually all attached now yeah. but so this, where was, they, this was turned here yes turned here yep. yep um so very happy just hopefully when it's all together it doesn't do what it was doing it's all good <laughs> You won't know until you're getting back in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. That's proof that uh, some people here are actually doing some work. They're not just drinking beer and eating fish barbecues. Uh, but of course, Sharon and Lindsay, by their own admission, are people who can't sit still for more than five minutes. So if anyone's going to get shit done in this boatyard, it's these two. So that's encouraging to see. Right, back to more beer. Because there's a big cloud over there, and that's that's preventing me from going back to the boat. That's an excuse! <laughs> Well, here we are, heading back round to Esperatanka, having had a fun afternoon in the boatyard. Uh, nice to see Roy, Lily, uh, Chaska. Start again. Come on, think, Furlong, think. Roy and Lily of Chaska, Sharon and Lindsay of Songlines, and of course, uh, Deja Vu, which is, um, do it again. Think, Furlong, think. Fuck's sake, Glyn, of course. Glyn, who we uh, got to know at Sutra during lockdown, who was there with our lovely dog, Chloe. And Glyn has got to adopt and foster all the dogs in the yard. And there was a beautiful little puppy when you saw it earlier. What a lovely puppy. You'd be pleased to know that that puppy has a home to go to. They've found someone to adopt the puppy. Anyway, it was nice just to, uh, well, it was nice just to hang out and have a few beers and a barbecue, lovely Spanish mackerel for, for lunch. And um, also just to see what the facilities are like. And it looks like a pretty clean yard as far as I'm concerned. Now, Glyn has been going to this yard for years. She knows all the people there really well. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's it really. Uh, heading back to Esperatanka now. Hopefully Liz has cooked me up a lovely supper. I am joking because I'm full of Spanish mackerel. I don't eat food, but uh, yeah, perfect timing. Just look at this sunset though. Well, cloudscape. Look at the cloudscape. It's amazing. 